So this will be the first lesson here about uh, creating a Pro Tools session. I, I know it sounds very basic, but these are really important uh, fundamental things of how Pro Tools stores the files. So I've launched Pro Tools here, and I'm just going to cancel out of that. And the first thing that comes up is the dashboard. It's called the dashboard where you choose all your session settings. This is actually really important stuff here. Um, so we'll give it a name. I'm going to call it my last name and an assignment, which is great just to get into file naming convention. Maybe this is a, your band recording or uh, the band name or instruments you're recording, whatever the project is, very important. What this is going to create is a folder here. I'm going to create this on the desktop. Let's talk just for a moment. Let's sw switch gears here. Let's go over to the bit depth and sample rate. So these are fundamental principles of how the digital audio file will be recorded or stored when you import files. Pro Tools usually likes to work at the same sample rate and bit depth. So I'm going to choose the most standard bit depth, which is 24 bit and the most standard sample rate, which is 48K. So most interfaces can support 24 bit 48K. I won't go into exactly what this means, but it's the resolution or the detail of the audio file that is going to be as, at the basis of recording and importing audio files. So that's a good setting to have right there. I'm gonna put it at the desktop so we can observe the file structure here. So there we go, we're gonna be on the desktop here. And what's really important in this process is understanding how Pro Tools stores its, fi its files. So look, at there's nothing on my desktop here besides my desktop files I cleaned up. I'm going to create a folder for me. Now I'm going to go back to my desktop here. It created a folder here called Walter AS1. And let's go peek in there and see what is in there. So it created all this stuff for me. Here's the Pro Tools session file and the audio files. So back in the day, all you had was the Pro Tools session file and the audio files. As Pro Tools progressed and there were different versions, you had all these other folders that were created. Bounce files is relatively new. When they created clip groups, that's created there. Uh, if you have video files you import, it'll be there. Um, so that's just good to know. And when I close this session, Command-Shift-W, close that session up, and look it. All those folders went away. I'm going to reopen it up again. It's going to open up my session, and all the folders are recreated. So I wanted to talk about this structure. It's very important. When we record audio, when we import audio, it goes to the audio files folder. So the Pro Tools entire session and session file right here, this PTX file, is the whole enchilada, right? So if you're copying that, handing it in, it's a folder with all the assets in it. So with digital audio and DAWs, it gets much more complicated because we have to understand file management, where files are stored. So this is the Pro Tools file structure.